last night, so I'm running on a little bit of a matcha latte to hopefully wake me up. My name is Sabrina. I do live workouts every single day, Monday through Friday, right here on TikTok, and I stream on YouTube as well. I've been streaming for the last four years, workouts, live workouts, so I have plenty of content for you to check out either on my TikTok page, on YouTube, or on my Instagram. So come join me one of these days. We're working out at 8.30 this morning, and every single day this week, we're kind of testing it out. My son is not in preschool anymore, so he's home for the summer. Um, and that just means we have more time to be able to work out. And then I can jet out of here and we can go do mom stuff, like take him to the park or take him to the zoo or the aquarium or the zoo, I already said that, the trampoline park, SeaWorld, all kinds of stuff. So um, I'm, I'm an early riser, so I just like to get my workouts done as fast as possible. Not as fast as possible, but like as early as possible so I have the rest of the day to do things. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Today we're gonna do an upper body and core workout. Um, so let's get it. As far as equipment that you're gonna need, a heavy set of dumbbells, a lighter set of dumbbells, a bench or a step, and then you will also need one of those lighter dumbbells if you do not have a medicine ball. But I'm gonna use a medicine ball as well, but you don't necessarily have to have it, okay? So, without further ado, let's crush this workout, okay? I'm thinking it's gonna be from now on, at least for the summer until he starts school. So two months, right? June, July, and a little bit of August. It's just gonna work out better for me and my family. And at the end of the day, that's what I gotta do. So I hope that's okay with you guys. But guess what? If that doesn't, if that time doesn't work for you, um, the workouts will be on YouTube. So you, that's why I kind of walk you through everything so that you feel like I'm still there with you, even if you're on YouTube. And then if you watch them back on YouTube, you put them on your TV. It's gonna be a great user experience because it's on a big screen and you know. Just, you're doing great. Relax. <laughs> Why do I feel jittery? Do I seem like I'm like jittery? Okay, let's do it. We're gonna start off with some upper body stretches, you guys. Um, I have to clean my mat because there's like dog hair all over. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some upper body stretches. We're gonna take a long band and just come to the front. Ooh, and to the back. Sorry, I'm like so thrown off. We're doing legs today. Another piece of equipment that you're gonna need are two bands. You're gonna want one that has a lot of resistance and one that's a little bit looser, right? Loosey goosey, because we're gonna do um, fire hydrant to a kick out with this looser one. The tight one is our very first exercise that we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do banded lateral walks. I'm gonna show you the form check now. And then after that, we'll do a fire hydrant to a kick out. Before that, Let's go stretch just a little bit, okay? Late, I'm so sorry, going on my, I got going on my garden boxes. Yay, I wanna see pictures. Post something on your page, Tracy. Yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see your garden boxes and what you're planting. I'm yeah, so the No, I was running late too, so we're here. Let's, let's do some hip openers. Mom needs to put a new battery in the queue.
guys, yesterday's workout was so good. We went hard. We went real hard. So you're gonna come here. You're gonna go down into not a full squat, but right about here, okay? And you're gonna step across, make that band work. I wanna see resistance on that band. And then you're gonna come together. Does that make sense? We're gonna do it four times. There and back is gonna count as one. Let's go. Today's Wednesday, right, you guys? Yes, okay. I was like, wait, is it like day? Okay, one more, and then we're gonna break for a second and finish off the last two. Your core is on, yeah? You're gonna feel this in your upper outer glutes. But you're gonna feel it in your quads too. Oh my God. Why are my legs so sore? Oh, I forgot to clean my screen, so let me do that real quick. Let's take a quick break, a little matcha break real quick. I'm not a big coffee person. I drink coffee like if my husband makes me like a cappuccino or like a Mama. vanilla latte or something, but. Mom, I can't see myself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry guys. Yeah. Um. Mm-mm-mm. Can I use this napkin? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Magnesium and lots of it, yes. That's good. Most people are deficient on magnesium across the board. Good morning, you're here, let's get it. Hi, I'm mom of none. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Tracy. You know you don't have to do that, but I am also really excited because you know I love to garden. Ah! But send me pictures or post on, on TikTok um, yeah, this so what cute. you're posting. This so cute. It repairs faster. Mom, this so cute. Okay, honey. You know the drill. Mama's working out. You gotta be respectful, okay? So let's go do two more sets of this, you guys, and um, we'll continue. We are doing the banded lateral walks, Mom of Nine. We have two more sets. So let's go. PSA. We're here trying to better ourselves. If you're here to be a pervert, you are gone. I don't care. So, just warning you, if you're not a pervert, then I apologize, but I don't know your username. It's a little sketch. Okay, cool. So, we're going to go put our um, looser band on, and we're going to do a fire hydrant to a kick out, okay? So we're gonna 
gonna be in a tabletop position. Get your band on above your knees. Oh, that a, uh, see the first one, I want you to make sure you're doing it with one that's tight, right? Cause you're really gonna feel it. What brand are those bands? These are, um, honey. Then sit right here, honey. Come on. How old are they? James. How old are they? No. That's how, not. How old are they? How old are they? Yeah. No. How old are they? These are Build a Booty. Good brand. Um, the only ones I can Mama. really recommend because they're the only ones I've ever had. So, Mama. James. I'm going to take you up to your room. I just started my workout and I'm not in the good mood. I'm not in a good mood because I didn't get a lot of sleep. I forgot to take my, um, my lion's mane. Um, so anyways, let's get started. We're going to go into a tabletop position. <laughs> yeah, you got to love kids. This is why I do these workouts though with kiddos because I want you to see that it's a mess sometimes but you can still do it. Like you'll have distractions, you'll have to break a lot, but it's okay. You just have to remember why you started and stay focused and just like keep your eye on the prize. Yes, you'll have distractions. And it's just like, it's all about how you roll with it, right? And sometimes it's too much for me and sometimes I can like, I can move along, but we'll see how today goes. <laughs> all right, so we're here. Tabletop position, neutral back, neutral spine. What does that mean? I don't want you to push your hips out and I don't want you to round your back out. Neutral, neutral. Shoulders stacked in line with your hands. We come up, open up to a hip abduction. We kick out, we come back down. We are not rushing any part of that and that kick is not sloppy. Let's go for 10. One, two, your core is on. Three, four. That band is fully extended right here. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Other side, let's go. I know you feel it, because these are so, these are uh, intense. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Breathe. My God, you're gonna feel that in your glutes so much. Whoo! Let's take a little break, you guys. Yeah, I'm uh, at this point in my life. I really value sleep. So if I don't get enough sleep, oh, I feel like I'm a totally different person. And I did not get good sleep last night. I already did mine and I gotta use this new time back to our regular time. Huh, what? 10 grams? Yeah, I used to have a, um, I used to have a pill that I would take at night that had biotin in it. Um, and I don't know what happened, I gotta find those. Um, so anyways, let's go do two more sets, okay? Yeah, we're like getting over being sick. I need to come in on. I need to come in on later because of James. I gotta remember earlier now. Yes, girl. 8:30. Do you want me to text you every morning? Because I can totally do that. <laughs> I love it. I love holding people accountable. <laughs> well, when it comes to like stuff like this, you know, not like in a mean way or anything. I just, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Let's go do two more. Tabletop position. We're kicking out. One. Two, three, slow and controlled, your core is on. Four, fully extend that band. Five, don't be sloppy with the kick. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh. Okay. So, take your band off. If you do not have a long band, okay? We're going to break, so break, break, break. I'm going to show you 
be the form check for our next exercise that we're gonna do. give you examples my umbrella that had like sand in the stand and could, it was like tough I use that I would tie my my um, long band around that I also use like the rail to like my pool that worked as well so you just have to find something that you can strap that long band around that will support your body when it's not gonna like rip or fall or anything like that Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do kickbacks, okay? We're gonna hold for one once we fully extend our leg, and then we're gonna come back and release that leg nice and slow, not just let it slap back, okay? If you do not have a long band, you are still gonna do these, you're just gonna do it with your booty band, okay? Does that make sense? Um, let me show you what it looks like and we'll get started. Hold on, let me take a bite of this toast because I'm so hungry, you guys. yesterday which I'm a little bit bummed about but that's okay we can just bounce back it's not a big deal um I know exactly what happened like I didn't take my shake after my workout which I normally do so I knocked that one out so that one I took like in the evening and then by that point I was so tired I was like I'm not taking the other one <laughs> so I messed up but that's okay I'm not gonna let it get to me I'm just gonna keep pushing and jump back on the wagon you're feeling great okay Matthew says killing it Killed it. All right, let's go do two more sets. Then we're gonna grab our dumbbells and start doing some compound lifts, okay? Let's do it. Slow and controlled, we are not rushing it, okay? Let's go. One. Two. Four, five, 
sure you put like a I feel this works for me when I associate taking those shakes with like a time or like an action right so it's like a behavioral kind of thing um, and so for me when I take it right after my workout it's boom it's done and then I just have one more to do and that's like like I told you yesterday or whatever the day was and then it rounds out to like if I do both of them it's like a hundred it's a little shy four grams shy of a hundred so then I have to make up 38 grams <laughs> yeah like 38 grams in my diet which is easy peasy I mean I eat like I eat nuts that are high in protein I usually do two servings of those which is 10 then I eat yogurt I usually do like some type of spinach in my meals um, last night I made a lentil soup um, I've never really cooked um, I've never done a soup like that before so it was really good it turned out really good it had potatoes celery um, spinach, carrots, onions, I think that's it. Oh, and then like, you know, a can of tomatoes and chicken broth. It was actually really good. Um, that's awesome. Congratulations, Mom and Nun. I am so freaking proud of you. Um, needs to be done. Hey, I'm late. <laughs> it's okay, Allie. Thanks for being here. You haven't missed much. We just did our... Um, glute activation, which was the lateral banded walks, and then the fire hydrant to a kick out, and we just finished long band kickback. So we're gonna go to weights now. So we're gonna go do deadlifts. So we're gonna do our sumo deadlifts, single dumbbell sumo deadlifts. I want you to increase your weight because we're using one dumbbell. You're strong enough to bump the weight up. And then from there, we'll go into regular deadlifts, and then we'll go into B stance deadlifts, okay? And then we're gonna switch it up and do like some walking lunges, some pulsing reverse lunges. I wanna do some deficit reverse lunges um and then maybe we'll do some more squats or something like that okay oh we definitely will not leave without doing hip thrusts okay you already know the drill all right let's go single dumbbell <clears throat>
Four sets of ten of these. Let's go. One. Not yet, James. Two. Core is on. Three. Neutral back, neutral spine. Four. Keep that weight close to your body. Five. Drive up from those heels. Six. Sit those hips back. You're going to feel that stretch in those hamstrings. You're going to feel your glutes and your hamstrings activate. Seven. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight. Nine. Ten. Do I talk too much? Sometimes I feel like I talk too much, you guys. But I just want to be very thorough. I want you to feel good about the exercise. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to be on my mat. Another set. <sighs> Core is on. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh my gosh. Uh, eight. And 10. I just realized, I hope you guys don't think this is a squat. It is not a squat, okay? A squat would be this, right? Sitting our hips back, bending at the knees down, right? That's not what we're doing. Instead, we're bending at the knees, but we're hinging our hips back. You see that? Totally different. This is a squat. This is a deadlift. So don't squat. We're just hinging those hips back so they can't go anymore. Your knees right here. Usually it's like mid calf is where like your weights are. But just think about where you feel the stretch in those hamstrings. Then we drive it back up, okay? Because I know you could be like, what the hell? That's not a deadlift. Yes, it is. It's a sumo deadlift, okay? Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, let's go. We have two more sets. Let's go. One. Slow. Two. You feel it in your hamstrings? Squeeze those glutes and those hamstrings. Muscle mind connection. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. bump up your weight, okay? It's hard, but I gotta do it. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that. Okay, let's go do one more. Then we're gonna transition to regular deadlifts, okay? We'll incorporate one more dumbbell into the equation. Remember, when you're doing these, it's important to be on your mat. You know like a glue trap that gets the bugs? That's what you wanna be. Have your feet on the mat. It's going to keep you grounded. You're not going to slip. And you're going to feel like strong. Like you've got a good foot placement. And you're not going anywhere. You're not moving. On this hardwood, it's slippery. Okay? Ready? Let's go. One. Slight bend in those knees. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, drive up from the heels, eight, nine, last one, ten. Man, yesterday, uh, what the hell, we did so much, and those bent over rows, my back is like, Sore. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Okay, so grab another weight. Just for reference, like, please don't compare yourself to me, but people always ask, so I just want to tell you. This is a 30 pound dumbbell. So I'm going to go grab one more, okay? So grab another dumbbell. And we're doing the same exact thing, just with 
two dumbbells, okay? So, get your form set up. I'm gonna show you the form check, okay? Same concept. You can, you can go with your feet straight. I always like to open up my toes, or open up here. I just feel better, it's just more comfortable for me. But you don't have to do that, you can totally go straight, okay? So, let's do two straight and then two feet pointed 20 degrees, okay? Let's do that. So, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, same concept, slight bend in the knees, we're keeping the weight close to our body, neutral back, neutral spine, we sit those hips back, it's as far as they're going for me. It's gonna be different for everybody, okay? You might be here, you might be here, like you know, it's different. So here, and then we drive up through those heels, engaging the hamstrings, glutes, and quads. And come back up, okay? One that way. Let's do it. Four sets of 10. Oh, sorry, we're doing regular. <laughs> Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ooh, give me four more. One. I can have my feet on the mat. 
Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Four. No, I'm just like, I'm, I don't want you guys to be startled by his screaming. It's normal. He's just having a little fit. He's just got to work it out himself in timeout. I think he thinks I won't put him in a timeout. If I'm on live. No, no, I will. Okay, so anyways. Okay, so. Oh, and if you want to know why he went to timeout, it's because he was yelling at me. We do not yell. No yelling. Okay, so, um. We've got one more set. Let's go. <clears throat> Toes pointed out 20 degrees. Let's go. Let me move this a little bit because we're not at the table anymore. and him being at home every single day and it's just gonna take some getting used to we're gonna have to like reevaluate our expectations and like he know he knows like he's been working out on me since he was one he knows like the boundaries and the expectations and he's just pushing those boundaries a little bit and I have to be firm on those boundaries so um but just bear with me because he's gonna be with me every single day so we just have to figure it out um and find something for him to do for the hour um, just to entertain himself, you know? So, I appreciate your patience. Um, so, anyways, let's continue along. We are going to go do... Man. I'm going to go down and wait, and we're going to go do some pulsing reverse lunges, okay? So... Like, can I do them with 30s? Let me see. God dang it, Sabrina. I'm gonna try. Okay, so your form check for these, you guys. We're going into a deep reverse lunge. You're making sure you're hitting 90 degrees. Your knee doesn't go past your toe. Shoulders back, chest up. Your core is on. We are driving and pulsing from our heel. This dominant leg, our left heel, yeah? So we're pulsing, pulsing. Pulsing, driving up through the heel, engaging those quads, 
hamstrings, and glutes, okay? So, I'm out of breath. Get some water, chill. We're gonna give you a couple sets of these, okay? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna switch out my weight. We're gonna do a super set, okay? I'm going to 20s. Then, we are going to go into, I just blanked, hold on. We're gonna go into um, jump lunges, okay? So we're not gonna use weight. You can if you want to, just like a lighter weight, like a 10. You did use weight, you would stack it on your shoulders. And what you're doing is you're jumping into the lunge, yeah? And then you switch and jump into the other leg. If that's too much for you, excuse me. <clears throat> if that's too much for you, you're just gonna do alternating reverse lunges, okay? That is your modification. Are we cool? Let's take a little break, because I'm hot. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> this is so gross. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I don't have anything that I need to like spit up yet. <laughs> when I do, I'll take a minute and leave. I'm so sorry. It's so gross. Okay, but anyways, so we'll do the superset for this. So we'll do a pulsing reverse lunge on our right leg, and then we'll go do the jump lunge. Then we'll go pulsing reverse lunge on our left leg, and then we'll do the jump lunge. Does that make sense? So you can do it with or without weights, both exercises. You can do two by your sides for the pulsing reverse lunges. You can do one at your collarbone, that's an option too. And when you do the jump lunge, you can do it body weight or you can hold one at your collarbone, okay? So you have options. So don't think that you can't do this exercise because it's too difficult. You can, there's no excuses, okay? You are so much stronger than you think you are and I know you can do this. Make sense? Okay, cool. Um, Sabrina, I gotta go, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, no worries, bye. Let's do it. Pulsing reverse lunge, right leg. Jimmy, you can come out now. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop your weights on the bench. With or without a weight, jump lunge for ten. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my God. Your quads are going to feel it. Do you know why you went to time out? Judy?
Okay, sorry guys, let's get ready for a second set of this. But at least you get a little bit of, of a break because this one's gonna raise our heart rate quite a bit. You are not allowed to touch the scissors, okay? Let's go. Left leg, pulsing reverse lunge. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, drop your weights. Pick a lighter one up if you want it. Uh, let's go. Jump lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. James! What? Okay, let's get this over here. Okay, breathe, catch your breath, Woo! right here honey, here's the tape, sorry guys, he's got a little bit of bed head, we just woke up, we woke up super late today, because we're both sick, we're just like, ugh, a mess. Okay, yeah, tape them together, that's the legs. Here, let's get ready for our third set, okay? Good morning, Jono, yay! Yeah, I'm um, using like binoculars. Um, um, you wanna tape the other side? I want to make an instrument. Ooh, an instrument, what instrument? Yeah, make an instrument, show me what you do. Okay, so, Third set, we're going back to our right leg, pulsing reverse lunge, you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, drive up from the heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Reset. Jump lunge, with or without a weight, or you're doing, your modification is Alternating reverse lunge. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have one more set, and then we're gonna go to hip thrust, okay? Now, after this, we're gonna go do squat jacks, and then we're gonna do jump squats, and then we'll go to hip thrusts. We'll end up, we'll end with hip thrusts, okay? Okay, left leg, pulse and reverse lunge. Heart rate's getting up there, yeah? Let's go, get that 90 degrees, drive up through your heel. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reset. Grab a weight if you're gonna do the jump lunge with the weight. If not, just um, get ready. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. So done. Break. A mom of none. I am so proud of you for hitting your protein goal. I'm really proud of you. Let's do it every single day this week, okay? It's 3.30 in the afternoon in the UK, Sabrina. Wow. That's like when I start crashing. I start crashing at like four. I start yawning and I'm like ready for bed. <laughs> uh, but I think that's normal and to be expected. Oh my gosh, the mic was on here the whole time. I'm so sorry, YouTube. Um, because I get up at like 5.30 sometimes. Okay, so. Fix my microphone. little 
jerk. Sorry guys, we have, do we have one more set or are we done? I think we're done. A mom of none. Do we have one more set? Or are we done? I think we're done, right? Aren't we? We're gonna go do um, jump lunges. I'm sorry, not jump lunges. Squat jacks, and we're gonna do, we're gonna pair it with the super set of um, squat jacks. Or not squat. We're gonna do squat jacks, and then we're gonna do um, jump squats, okay? So. Did we do our last set? Uh, I can't remember, but I think we did. We did the right leg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done. So, let me show you your form check for the next two exercises, you guys. We're going to jump out into a squat, and then you're gonna jump up into your original position, okay? So you jump out into a low squat, jump right back up to your original position. And we're just gonna do that 10 times, okay? So you can use the weight if you want to. You would stack it at your collarbone. Um, and then we're gonna drop the weight and superset into um, jump squats. So for the jump squats, you just squat and jump. If you cannot jump for whatever reason, I still got you. For the um, jack squats or squat jacks, squat jacks, you're going to come low into a squat and you're gonna step out, come together, step out. These are called step out squats. So that's your modification. And then for the jump lunges, or sorry, I keep saying jump lunges for the jump squats. You're just gonna do pulsing squats for 10. Okay? Uh uh, James, he's not in the mood. He'll bite you. Leave him off. His arm is hurting. Okay. My lord. Let's do this, okay? So we can go to jump, uh, so we can go to hip thrust. Alright. I'm gonna use a weight. First set, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop your weight, reset. We're going in, two, jump squats. I don't want to keep eating 
with the mouth full. Yeah. I'm working out. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have two more sets, okay? Thank you guys for double tapping the screen. I appreciate it. TikTok hates me right now. Like, I don't know what the deal is. I think it's because I'm not posting any, like, TikToks. Um, they're not, like, pushing my lives, and that's okay.
Sandra Sanders head. Benny, Urgh, my dogs. Little crumb snatchers. Okay, breathe you guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're gonna go do hip thrust next. It's gonna look like this. Single leg hip thrust into regular hip thrust into static hold hip thrust for 10 seconds, okay? I'm gonna show you the form check, so don't worry. Um, let's get it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you're gonna want like a towel, a rag, something to protect your hips. We are going to sit on the bench, come down, draw a line on the edge of the bench or step. Benny, what are you doing, bro? Okay. Okay, so bra line on the edge of the bench or step, yeah? He's like, I'm his toast. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring that weight onto your hips. With your bra line on the edge of the bench or step. We go, oh, for the single leg hip thrust, let me show you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So here's your form check. We make sure that we thrust up, we're hitting 90 degrees. For the single leg, oh my gosh, my back is so sore. Oh, I feel it. So we're gonna put that dumbbell on our thigh, like real close to your hip, but on your thigh. We're gonna come down and thrust up for 10. Don't worry about the non-dominant leg, the one that's in the air. All that we care about is making sure that our leg hits 90 degrees, okay? This is gonna suck, let's just push through and be done with it. Okay, ready? Oh, and then for the regular hip thrust, we're just here. We come down with those hips. We drive up through the heels, hit 90 degrees. For the static, we stay here and hold for 10. Let's go. One. Two. Three. I ate the whole toe. Four. I ate your whole five. toe. Five. Good. Six. Ow. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reset. I'm going to bring this bench just a little closer. So, get ready to do your regular hip thrust. I'm going to just double stack these. Crawl in on the edge of the bench or step, yeah? Let's go. One. Two, we hold for one at the top, yeah? Three. Drive up from those heels. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Thank you. 
four, five, James, he's gonna get your eggs, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wow. Try the drops out if they're not working. That's the next step. And we've just been like, oh, do you want to remove his eye? But like, we've come to terms with it, and it's like the best thing for him because we can tell he's in pain. Even with the pain meds. So I gotta go pick your pain meds up today, Benny. Go give your eye drops. We do like three eye drops two, twice a day. It's, it's a whole regimen. And then he's gotta chew at night. And it's, just, it's a lot. That's okay, Benny. We're gonna get through it, right? Boy. Okay, let's go do, let's crank out two more sets. Yeah, this is our last exercise of the day. Um, so let's push, yeah? Oh no, we gotta do cat's glute bridges for mama nun. We gotta do those. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go do two more sets and then we're gonna crank out four sets of cat's glute bridges. They are not pulses. We're gonna hold for one at the top and then we're gonna be done. Easy peasy, right? We'll do a quick stretch and call it a day. Go hit the hay. Hit the hay, not hit the hay. Go drink your whey. Oh my gosh, that was so dumb. But seriously, go drink your protein shake. Oh my God, I'm such a nerd. Okay, let's do it. I've been on like a rhyming kick because I read books to him at night and we read a lot of poems and um, it's a lot of rhymes, so they're cute. Okay, anyways. Let's do it, single leg hip thrust, right leg. Ha, hoo, ha, he, ho. Let's go. One, make sure you're going all the way down, hitting that 90 degrees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Yummy, your booty's gonna look in your bathing suit. These are gonna help with that. Oh my gosh, quick reset. We're gonna go do 10 regular hip thrusts and then hold for 10, okay? Raw line on the edge of the bench, you step. Ooh, you just knocked the air out of me. Just kidding. Let's go. One. Two, push, three, four, five, drive up from those heels, six, seven, eight, two more, nine. Oh my gosh. 
stretch. Ten, hold for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 and ten. Are you exhausted? This is like pushing yourself to the max. I am so done. But we have our left leg to do. So, quick reset. Grab a sip of water and head back over to your mat, your bench. We have to go through the left leg, you guys. We gotta keep it even, yeah? Okay, let's power through. After this, it's kind of easy breezy because we just have calves for bridges, which are just quarter of the way down hip thrusts. I'll show you what those look like. Let's go. Single leg hip thrust. That weight is on your thigh, close to your hip. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, oh my gosh, ten. We're at the tail end, you guys. Like you're just like, I'm the most confident I am out of the entire month after like I finish my period. That like next week, I'm just like, let's go, yeah. I don't feel bloated. Um, we'll see. But mucha energy, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go do a mama nun. We're gonna go do um, calves glute bridges. It's the same thing as a regular glute bridge, except we're just going quarter of the way down. We are not pulsing, but I am gonna surprise you with a little pulse at the end. So we are gonna go quarter of the way down, back up. Quarter of the way back down, up. We're gonna do 10, okay? Yeah, we're gonna do 10 and then stop, and then we're gonna pulse for 10, okay? So when we do the pulse, you will go fast for those, okay? For the for the calves glute bridges, you do not go fast. You Hold for one at the top. Where okay? is the panoptia? On the floor, weren't they? Let me show you what it looks like, okay? Get stacked up and ready to go. We're all on the edge of the bench or step. We're hitting 90 degrees. We're doing four sets of 10, yeah? I don't know where you took them, honey. Okay, this is what it looks like, you guys. I did took the We're right here. Instead of going all the way down for our hip thrust, we're gonna come here, quarter of the way down. 
down and back up, okay? So let's go do that, and then we're gonna pulse for 10 immediately after that. The pulse will go fast, so it's like quarter of the way down, but it's very, very fast pace. Fast tempo, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, drive up with those heels, six, seven, I don't have the energy. Shh. Okay, go grab them. The pants are on backwards, honey. We're gonna pulse on the last set. I'm so sorry, I thought I could do it, but I'm smoked. Okay, I thought I could. I thought. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Okay, second set. We are moving and grooving. Get stacked up, 90 degrees. Quarter of the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo, mommy, mommy, mommy. We got two more sets. At the end of the last one, you guys, we're gonna pulse for ten. Somehow, some way, we're gonna try. This is our third set. We're doing a regular 10. Regular 10. Calves, glute bridges, quarter of the way down hip thrust, okay? Ready? We're pushing through. This is a tough one today. I did not think I was gonna like have this much like strength and energy, but sometimes I surprise myself. Let's go. Third set. One. Two, drive up from those heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Oh my God, my glutes are done. I want to take this second weight off, but I'm not going to but I want to so bad because my cheeks are on fire. Oh, all right. This is our last one, okay? So we're doing cast glute bridges for 10 and then we're gonna pulse for 10 if you can. If you can't, it's not a big deal. It's totally extra credit, okay? Then we're gonna do a quick stretch and say bye-bye. We have to take a shower and rest because we're smoking. I need more tea. Okay. Let me cut you some more tape. Give me one second, okay? Let's go, you guys. I want to cut more tape. One, two. I want to cut more tape. Three. You're going to have to wait, James. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! Oh. Ho! I. Congratulations. You're, you're getting it all out, honey. That's good. The coffee. No, sir, you cannot cut. You can hold this. Breathe, relax. Do not forget to stretch, okay? Here, hold right there. We're gonna go stretch, you guys. Congratulations, that was a great workout. That was a phenomenal workout. Pat yourself on the back if you did any part of that. I'm so proud of you. I am learning about psychology right now in my CPT training and how mindset plays such a huge role in you wanting to um, start your fitness That's journey, enough. start eating healthy. Um, and enough. I talk about this a lot. And so in my training, I will be making sure that mindset is a strong focal point in our training and our meetings and stuff like that, because the psychology behind it is, is insane. It, um, it's crazy. You have to like understand the value that you're getting from making these decisions to make what might seem like sacrifices at the beginning, 
but they end up not feeling like sacrifices once you get going. Once you start reaping the benefits, and all of those benefits, I'm talking not necessarily the physical benefits because you're not gonna see those for quite some time. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll quit obsessing about it. Like if you're just starting, do not step on the scale every day. That is like torture. Don't do that because it's not gonna move. In fact, it'll probably increase, right, as you're building muscle. Thinking like obsessing over like the physical side of things is not good for you. What you want to focus on more so is like the value that you're getting from exercising and making these behavior changes to start eating healthier, right? Oh my gosh, like what am I getting? For example, I'm starting to feel better. My mood is better. My anxiety is decreased. My depression is decreased. Um, you're sleeping better, right? You have more energy. You're not like waking up in such a terrible mood in the morning. Um, but so many other things, right? Like you're just feeling better when you wake up. Um, so yeah, when you start to value those things and prioritize them, then it doesn't seem like exercise is a burden and you don't have like a negative connotation towards it because you're like, okay, I'm doing this for a good reason and I'm reaping the benefits, especially the short-term ones that eventually turn into long-term ones. Um, and then the cherry on top is when you actually start seeing the physical side of things. But I say this all the time. I do not, like the cherry on top is yes, the physical side of things, but I exercise for so many more reasons besides just that. It's for those other little things like having more energy. It helps relieve stress, right? Exercise is one of the best things that you can do to manage your stress levels. So if you find yourself very irritable and you have panic attacks or whatever, whatever the reason, or you like are really highly stressed, you have a stressful job, you're a mom, whatever, exercise is good for you. That's a way for you to release, um, release that stress, right? Okay, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the chapters that I'm on right now. So I will, from time to time, share stuff with you. You're so welcome. And working out helps with depression and anxiety, 100%. I am a highly anxious person. I struggle with anxiety quite a bit. And I've noticed um, through that and doing other things, working with my therapist, um, my anxiety's been a lot better. Um, so, yes. 100% exercise helps with depression and anxiety. Yeah, so consider that for the mental, and I always talk about this, not just the physical side of things, but the emotional and the men mental um, benefits that you get as well. And I say this all the time, but remember to celebrate those small milestones when you start to see um, yourself sleeping better or having more energy or feeling in a better mood. You're less depressed, less anxious. You're more like optimistic and like, yes, like, like I'm so optimistic and I have so much energy. And that is why, Mama, because I exercise every day. I um, need one more tape for that part. Okay, so let's go stretch, you guys. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Mama, one, one. I'm getting it, honey. One more Slow tape your ball. for this. Okay, one. I'm going to do two, just in case, because I have a feeling you're going to need another piece of tape. Okay, so that's my homework. I'm going to start to have projects for him. That way we're working out and he's busy. Um, but anyways, let's go stretch, you guys. At the end of our um, workouts, we do a stretching session, yoga mixed in with stretching. And let's go do it. Um, you're feeling the burn. And yeah, working out helps with depression and anxiety 100%. Whoop, whoop, all done. Feels so good. Okay, let's go. Let's go stretch because stretching is so important, okay? And if you find yourself struggling with, like, being sore throughout the day, go stretch. Drink this water. Drink enough water, okay? Why? And then also protein helps with, like, sore muscles and relieving that um, uh, DOMS, which is onset early like soreness of your muscles, right? Okay, so anyways, oh, and uh, don't forget, one more thing. This is not wide. That looks good, honey. That looks really it's good. Now wide. we can paint it. Let's put it all together and we'll paint it. Um, don't forget, sleep is such a huge part of the recovery process, right? We were agitating and ripping up our, our fibers, right? And doing work to our body. Now our body's gonna recover, right? The way it does that when we sleep. If you're not getting enough sleep, you're hindering that process. So make sure you start prioritizing sleep. And I'm telling you this now, because I wish somebody would have told me like the first six months I started working out, I did not prioritize sleep. I would go to bed at 12, one, two in the morning, just like stay on TikTok. Just, it was so, 
it was so dumb. Like, and now I understand the, the importance of sleep and I prioritize it, just like I prioritize exercising. It all kind of works together. I prioritize my nutrition because that's one factor of living a healthy life and, and exercise and nutrition go hand in hand. But so does sleep, so does water intake, right? So does managing your stress, right? Um, so those are all factors that kind of work together, yeah? Oh my gosh, honey, that looks so good. We gotta put tape on this side now. Here, put one there. And let's one more. Cut one more. All right, guys, bear with me. Let's go stretch and call it a day. I will see you tomorrow for upper body and core. I don't know how because, man, y'all, that upper body yesterday was intense. Okay, let's stretch. We're gonna go down on our back and do a supine twist, okay? These babies are heavy. Sorry, you guys. We're we're doing the best that we can here. Whoa. Okay. Go down on your back. We're gonna do a supine twist. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on your back. You're gonna put your hips to the right. Bring your right arm over your left knee. I want your back and your shoulder blades on the mat. Your left arm is out. So we're just twisting our hips, twisting our back. Other side, left hand on your right knee. Ooh, this feels so good. Right arm out, back, shoulder blades. Who put a knife in here? Who put a knife in there? Were you cutting your plate on with that? No, I have plastic on. That's plastic. Was it in your Play-Doh jar? No, it wasn't. Bring your left and right. In that one spin, just touch it. It has coating. Yeah, go put it in the recycle, the white one, okay? Please. Bring your right leg up, pull towards your ankle, towards your chest. You're going to feel that stretch from your calf, your hamstrings, your glutes. Oh my gosh, you're going to feel your hamstrings so much, you guys. We hit our hamstrings and our glutes hard today. And we hit our quads as well. We're gonna cross this over our leg. This is a fantastic woo, stretch. This is called a four stretch. So if you can, do your best to cross your leg. If you're just here, that's totally fine. But the more that you work out with me and stretch with me, we're gonna get you into this four stretch. We'll get you there. So push that hand onto your right knee if you need to open up your hips a little bit and just move your hips. You'll feel the stretch in your glutes in different positions. But it feels good. This opens up our hip flexors as well. Are oh, you gonna paint it with your dot paints? Okay. No, this, this, this is the eyes. Okay, those are the eyes. Left leg, pull up towards your chest. Cross for stretch. We gotta go to the grocery store, honey. Why? Uh, Cause I have to go get um, soap. I have to get a water hose cause our hose broke. Come up on your mat. We're gonna go do, oh my gosh. My legs are so sore, so can we go do a stretch that um, we don't do all the time, but this is so good for opening up your hips. You're gonna come here like you're going into a child's pose, except you're gonna open up your legs. This is called a frog pose. So you point those toes in the back into a triangle, and we just come forward. So bring your forearms onto the mat and come down as far as you can. Now, this is a little bit more advanced but it feels so good. You come forward and then bring your hips down onto the mat. It's if not If you have like tight it. hips, yeah, you gotta dot it on there, make a big dot, hold it on there, shake it first. Shake them, uh, shake uh, the pen so the ink gets to the bottom. This, this, this pink is what then? Well, you gotta hold it on there, put pressure. Come back. Now we're gonna go into a uh, tabletop position. We're gonna go do cat-cow. Push those hips out, draw that belly in. So our back, our spine is going opposite directions. Right here, it's coming in. And then here, we're inverted going opposite direction. And when you come here, I want you to sit on your heels. Sit your hips back onto your heels and you'll feel that stretch in your lower back, yeah? 
Come back to the tabletop. Push those hips out. Good job, honey. There's the eyeballs. He did such a good job. Now we gotta find him arms. We'll go get some, we have some pipe cleaners in your arts and craft box. Yeah? Okay, opposite. We are going to come into a triangle pose here. So triangle legs, triangle legs, yeah? Twist over to the right. If you can, come down. If not, just stay here. Then we're gonna switch those legs to the opposite side. Come around. And from here, you guys, this is more advanced, but I'm going to do it because my legs are so sore. So in that triangle position, we're just going to place our back leg back. This is our pigeon pose. Push through the palms of your hands. And we're just going to stay here. Come into a plank position. We're going to switch to the other leg. So come up on that toe. Then switch legs. We're going to go. Um, and he doesn't eat like that. We'll get some googly eyes for his eyes in your arts and craft box. We'll make those the eyeballs, okay? Come into a um, plank and then drop those hips. We're going to go do upper uh, back. I keep it up. Hey, get it away from my band. Please get the marker away from my band. No, no, no. Put it back. Put it back because I see some on the floor. You see that on the floor? Mm -hmm. Get the rag and clean it, please. Okay, go look over your left shoulder with this. And then go look over your right shoulder. Ooh, you're going to feel that in your glutes. He's not quite wide. Okay, let's, let me get off of here and we'll, we will go get the art supplies. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Great workouts. We're going to see you tomorrow stretching as I type. Good job, honey. Sorry, I call everyone honey. Hopefully you guys are okay with terms of endearment. <laughs> I call everybody honey. God bless America. All right, you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the stretch. Normally we go a little longer, but um, my, my little guy is not having it anymore. So we're going to go do some arts and crafts, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. We're going to do upper body and core. Um, we're going to have a great workout, so I'll see you at 8.30, okay, in the morning. Oh, don't let me forget. Hold on, baby. we got to do our two deep breaths, okay? So at the end of our workouts, I like to do a um, two deep breaths just to kind of relax us, but also practice gratitude. Um, yeah, I'm that person. We practice gratitude. And then we also just um, set our intentions for the day, okay? Wait, up, 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 up. James, I love you so much. Okay, Mama has to do I'm something. Safe. Okay, Mama has to do I'm something. Safe. I love you. Okay. Thank you. Stop. I'm not messing around. I gotta do something, okay? Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay, so take two deep breaths. We're gonna breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. Ow, honey, you just hurt my arm. I don't like that. Please don't do that again. Thank you. One more. James, do you want to say sorry for hitting my arm? So, that hurt. Did you mean to hurt me? Yeah. Was it an accident? Yeah. That's okay, I forgive you. But please be careful next time, okay? We never, we, we never used this. We group. haven't. All right, you guys. <laughs> this Putting my mom hat on, I gotta go. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'll see you here at 8.30 in the morning. Central Standard Time. Bye, Jesse. Bye. Great session. Thank you. Bye, Matthew. Jesse, two deep breaths. We did them. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have bye. a fantastic day. Bye, you guys. Remember. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, honey.